quickly, um, I just want to note that the Europeans are unhappy. They're unhappy with Biden. They're unhappy with Biden because Biden is doing, um, you know, what Europeans do usually. But now America is doing it, and that has upset the Europeans. And that is Biden is subsidizing American business. The, the, if you remember his anti-inflation bill, uh, the, the bill that uh, was involved uh, subsidizing American business and uh, helping America g get over the, the, the so-called energy crisis um, and uh, all kinds of giveaways here and giveaways there. Well, the Europeans, oh, and a big part of the bill, by the way, a big part of the bill uh, that was uh, that uh, Biden passed was uh, that U.S. companies and U.S. companies would only get the subsidies, the goodies, the tax breaks, whatever, if everything was made in America, if all their parts that went into whatever it is they're selling was made in America. Europeans are upset because typically we import stuff from them and this will stop that importation and bring production to the United States. So it's a terrible bill. I mean, I criticized the bill. And the Europeans are upset in the same way that we're upset at China, that we get upset at Europe, that uh, Trump was upset. It's not fair because they're not doing free trade. I mean, we do exactly the same as all these other countries. We subsidize our businesses. We give them special uh, deals. We give them special protections. We sometimes even give them money. We bail them out. We constantly do the same, maybe on a smaller scale, but the same stuff as the uh, status governments of Europe and the ultra status government of China. Maybe on a smaller scale, certainly on a smaller scale, but same principle. And uh, Macron, who is uh, coming to the United States um, uh, this week, is going to be complaining bitterly about the Inflation Reduction Act, and particularly the subsidies and the tax credits for products made using parts in North America and assembled in North America, because that takes jobs away from Europeans. It also raises the cost for Americans. It's just stupid policy. It's very bad economics. It's, it's very bad in almost every dimension, but what else can we expect? The other thing they're really upset about in Europe is the fact that while America has stepped in and supplying them with a lot of natural gas via liquefied natural gas uh, and filling in the hole created by their over-reliance on Russia and their abandonment of nuclear power, we're selling it to them at market prices, which means the gas that they are buying from the United States is expensive. And they're going to complain to Biden and demand that Biden, I don't know, do what? Force American companies to sell the natural gas to Europe at a cheaper price? America doesn't intervene yet in that way uh, with its uh, gas companies, but they are really ticked off that uh, we are uh, using market prices to sell them natural gas. Of course, it's not we, it's energy companies that are doing this. Uh, and that makes the Europeans unhappy. So they're generally unhappy because the U.S. economy is doing okay, whereas the European economy is, is doing really badly. They're really unhappy that this winter they are going to freeze because of the energy crisis, uh, and the United States is going to be fine. We'll see how much they freeze, but certainly they're going to freeze more than we are. Um, the whole thing is, uh, you know, they're, they're accusing the U.S., the U.S. law could trigger a wave of deindustrialization in Europe. Isn't that exactly what we accused China of and Japan before that and North, South Korea and Taiwan? It's just, God, I, I wish people would just get economics. But uh, yes, the U.S. law is bad. It's bad law. And it won't end well because there will be, uh, you know, uh, it will raise prices for Americans, but it will also um, make products less efficient. There will be less competition. And ultimately, the, um, the Europeans will retaliate in one way or the other. Um, yeah, Pol you know, Europe is trying to get natural gas from everybody, but Poland is, uh, Ian Mikat says Poland gets its natural gas from Norway. We're good. Yes, but you, and you pay market prices to Norway as well unless you bought futures contracts, but you probably pay the market price. So 
Europeans are just are just in a in a in a mood to complain. They forget that it's NATO, which really means the United States, is providing them with uh, a defense umbrella that basically prevents Putin from being aggressive towards them. Uh, they are under the protection of America, and they should they should be nice. They should be nicer, just like to some extent. Elon Musk should be nicer to Apple, given how much he depends on them. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.